this is our wheel and axle is going to hit the dominoes down which triggers the marble to go through the tube hit the wedge make that marble go down off the ramps and this is also the screw to fall down into the pocket Um, conclusion questions by S2. Three, actually, S3. Um, what problems did we encounter during our project? Well, probably getting the dominoes to stay up like like this, but they fall over like that. It's pretty hard to do it, though. How did you overcome problems with. How did you overcome the problems that you encountered? Uh, would probably be that we set up the dominoes on a more flatter surface so it would and, stay up. And we did it last. Okay. Did all our simple machines work? Yeah. No. We got all the ramps to work perfectly good. Because uh, the ramps. And the dominoes worked out if we set them up last. The marble fell perfectly. The weld stopped the marble. It's pretty good. What do you do different next time and why? You probably do more ramps and machines so it looks cooler. Whoa. And it looks more scientific. It's longer. Just like that Rube Goldberg one. Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Identify two points of potential energy in your machine. Why is it potential energy? The wedge. It can move. Move. But it didn't because we designed it not to. The tunnel. The tunnel could have easily rolled away, but we taped it to the desk, so we didn't. Identify two points of kinetic energy in your machine. Explain why it is kinetic energy. Energy. Dominoes hitting another domino made a domino <laughs> fall and hit <laughs> the other domino. Uh, the marble hitting the wedge. Marble rolled through two. <laughs> through two. Then it hit. The wedge, which caused another marble to fall down the ramp. So you know.